Hi, this is a step-by-step -step process for how to actually use SurveyMonkey. So we're going to assume that you've already set up an account. If you have not, go to sign up for free for the basic plan or go pro sign up for the pro for the premium. If you're signing up for the premium, just a note uh, for the number of the clients that we work with, uh, one of the things that you probably want to do is go down to the select and I'm looking here see monthly plan if you do a yearly plan it's seventeen dollars a month if you do the monthly it's twenty four dollars a month but you're not you're not held to any type of contract and you're not billed annually so you could just click sign up there since we're already set up I'm not going to sign up right now this what I'm going to be showing you is from a basic account since this is just a sample of how this works. And I'm sign I'm logging in and you'll see once we log in that it shows you just the different surveys that I've done. I've done one survey already. So I just did a test survey just to show you how it works. This is a new account. And as you can see, this is what the survey will look like when you get it. I didn't really do that much to formatting the background of this one. This is a very basic survey. But I'll show you a little bit more about how you can do that later on. So I put some instructions in here. This is the first page. You can go, if you take a look here, I'm, I put in some answers here. Let's just say I put in... Ah, I don't really have a something to answer here, so let's just say put it all into the questions. I go next, and I can then see the next page. So as you can see, every single page, you could actually split up your questions so they don't all have to be in the same place. Also, if you notice the star, that means it's required, requiring all the questions to be answered before it's finished which is something if you want to get the survey completed that's something that's really important uh, also we could do stuff it doesn't all just have to be answers like the one here ah I don't really have anything better to say right now just want to get something finished we can go in we can go is this audience interaction is that important low medium high we could also switch it around to have high at the beginning let's say we put it at high and we can go low medium this is high I'm just filling this out so this is nothing to reflect any, anywhere here. Uh, this will help people out. Let's just say we fill out this one. Boom, boom. Click done. So there you go. We took the survey. You could analyze it from here. Now the thing that you're probably wanting to know. Here, let's just go, go into analyze. See, it already shows. I could see the responses and I could see what's going on for each question that was asked. I collect responses here. I could also go back into design survey if I want to make a change. And this is where you make all the changes here. So now I'm going to go out of this. I'm going to create a new survey. I'm going to go back to my surveys. <clears throat> I'm going to create a new survey. I go up here to the top where it says create survey. And I'm going to call this the coolest survey ever. Have a little exclamation mark just to note that's ever. Uh, what do I want from this? I could, let's say I want customer feedback. So I click customer feedback. I'm going to go continue. And then the coolest survey ever. And you can see here, this is where you could actually start creating the survey questions. Now this is a basic account, so I can only create 10 questions here. However, let's say I want to have each question on a different page. I could actually add pages in here. Here, let's just add the first page. And we're going to go, let's say I want to edit this. I'm going to call this the coolest page ever. And I'm going to give a description since this is the first page. Uh, this survey is for people who want to be cool. Get cool. 
and answer the questions. And we're going to go save page. Now let's say we have our first page here. We want to add a question. We go add question. Let's say we want to just have a basic question here. Uh, what is your name? What is your first name? And they'll give you recommendations for stuff. So you don't always have to type it all in like I just did. Uh, I want to require that. Uh, this is an essay. We're going to have this in an essay box. If I want to change that, maybe this is multiple choice, which we know this is not. We could do one answer. We could do a, a matrix of drop down menus. So if we want to get demographic information, we could do that. We could have a single text box, which we could, that wouldn't be a bad option either. And we could also validate, which I don't really think is really necessary. We we'll require respondents to answer the question before continuing to the next question. As long as they fill out their name, that's all we really care about. And we could also take a look at the default size and placement of the question. So, for example, do I want this to be 50 characters, the box size? Maybe start the question on a new row. Maybe place the question next to the previous question. So we could start doing spacing here, and you could see how you could fool around a little bit with that. Most questions, you'll just have it right on top of each other, but there are some other cool options here. I'm going to click Save. And I now have their first name on here. We're on the coolest page ever. I'm going to add another question. And I'm going to say, I'm going to go insert response. Oh, this is a pro feature. My bad. I always forget that's a pro feature. I'm going to go, what is your last name? And see how I can just scroll down. They already have lots of questions that most people have asked. I'm going to require this. And this is in an essay box. I want to change that. I'm going to have that into a single text box. And instead of just going save and having you go out and in, I'm going to go save and add next question. And I'm going to put in for the next question, what is your email? I don't like email account. I'm just going to put email address. I'm going to close this, and I'm going to choose the question type. I'm going to put a single text box, and then I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go require to answer this. I'm going to go save. So now we take a look, and now you have three questions in a row, name, last name, email address. Now, so let's say we want to get into the hard-hitting questions. We're going to go into page two. And we're going to go in here, edit page information. And we're going to do, we're going to change this uh, cool rating scale. How cool are you really? I don't know why I have this obsession. I just decided to go with this theme, so we're going with it. I'm going to add a question in here. And we're going to go through, and let's say, uh, rank yourself on these coolness factors. Oh, coolest, coolness factors. So since I can't spell, I'm going to add in here, I'm going to have this a rating scale. So I'm going to put in the row choices here. So you are, you like to nerd it up. Nerd it up by reading, like I do on a regular basis. Uh, you enjoy hanging out with friends. Uh, your favorite TV show is Modern Family. Okay. We put this in there. We have the answer options. I'm going to do labels. I'm actually going to do three ratings here because I only have three questions. And I'm going to rank a nerd, cool, and then coolest. And I could change this to whatever I want. If I want to make this low, medium, high, I could do it that way. Let's just keep it like that. 
and we're going to require this. And we could also, if we want, we could sort and randomize the rows. We're not going to do that. Allow one response per column. I want to have them answer all of these, so we're just going to go save. And so now we have low, medium, and high. And I'm going to go in here, and instead of adding a page, I'm going to go preview survey. Whoop, pops up over here. So you could see here, remember how we had different two different pages here? It only asks first name Andy, last name Nathan. I'm going to give uh, bogus at. You better believe this is not real. Dot com. I'm going to click next. And then I'm going to rank myself on the coolness factors. I'm going to go high, medium, low. Oh, I like Myron Family, so we'll put that as high. Uh, I'm going to click Done, and there you go. So I filled out the survey. It's easy to do. Now, let's say you want to put a little pizzazz into your survey. Let's say I want to make this get rid of the ugly aqua color here because that's kind of ugly. So I want to do that. Maybe you want to create a custom theme here. And I want to take a look. If I want to truly do that, I have to upgrade. However, let's say let's just play around with this so we can take a look. So right now it's in the chestnut color. Let's say I want to have it as let's see here. Let's play around. Edit. Let's say I want it black. I want the logo background black. And I, and I could just put it in there. I could also edit here, survey. I want the survey to be black. So people could actually, I want, or let's, let's make it more readable. Let's make it red. There we go. Because this is, this is truly beautiful right now. Wow, that's ugly. Um, however, you could fool around with that. My point is, is that you could play around with things and you can make stuff different colors. You could start having stuff uh, look different. You, you could start playing around with how stuff looks, different parts of the survey, and you could go through it. Now, the one thing that I cannot go through right now because I because we I don't have access to it is the incentives. The incentives are different incentives that you're giving people like coupons or gift certificates, and that's something where you actually have to sign up for it first before I could go through it. So unfortunately right now I don't have any incentives to offer you. So once you actually create the survey, now you have to collect, you have to get people to actually give you the results. So how do you do that? You collect. And what I'm going to show you here is you could just create a link like, or if you want, you could actually go into SurveyMonkey. And this is assuming that you already have signed up you could get started with MailChimp in three easy steps. So let's go, we're not going to, let's uh, create a campaign. First of all, because I want to create a regular little campaign. And we're going to go into Campaign Builder. Uh, since I don't want to put a list in here since this is a test, I'm only going to have it going to myself for right now. Then we're going to go Next. If you want to, you could just upload the emails, by the way. Then if you want to create the campaigns, you have to name the campaign. So we're going to call this the coolest survey ever. Message subject is coolest survey ever. And then we're going to go through here. If you want to actually do track opens, we can integrate this into Facebook. We can connect this with Twitter. We're not going to do this right now because this is for a survey. However, this is good for uh, brand building and uh, monetization uh, emails. So that's something cool to add in there. So we could also go in here. If we want to add a video, we could do that. We're not going to use that right now. We're going to go into Next and we're going to Campaign Builder. And here we're going to use Design Genius. Now you could do a basic one. However, the beauty of using Design Genius, it'll be very obvious shortly. I want to have Design Genius hooked in to SurveyMonkey, and it might already be hooked in here because I see it featured. 
However, let's go down here. Here we go. Survey Monkey. And see how they're actually featured. We're gonna log in to Survey Monkey and we go log in here. And what it'll do is it'll connect Survey Monkey with MailChimp. So we're gonna authorize this. Then we come back here to MailChimp and it's integrated successfully. Now let's just say I want to do a basic MailChimp newsletter using SurveyMonkey. I click on Survey Basic, go select, and see how I already have the coolest survey ever? Because that's the only survey that we did. If I had other ones, I could go down there. Oh, I also have New Survey, which I had done before as the test. That was the sample we showed you earlier. I'm going to go select. And what this is doing is, assuming you have a list put together, plus you also have the email, it's actually creating a customized template for you. They'll hook up to your SurveyMonkey survey. So instead of you having to copy a link or do something like that, all you have to do is people click give feedback and they could actually go in there and actually do the survey. Now you do have to obviously fill out some information here, put in your Twitter, your Facebook, the company name, and all you do, like let's say we want to put in the company name, let's just put in here, let's just continue with the theme here, coolest company, and we're going to click save, and there you go, coolest company. We could also, if we want to change anything in here, if there's something we don't like, we can go and edit, and each of these boxes is editable, and so let's say, let's say here you don't have a Twitter account, by the way. We can go hide this section and see, you can't really see it in there. You can still see it, but it won't be showing up in there. And let's do it to Facebook also. And let's do pop-up preview because I want to know what this is going to look like when it goes into an email. See how <clears throat> coolest company is listed here. The Facebook and Twitter logos are gone. And all I can need to do is I can go next to start sending this. If I want to send a test, I could also send a test out to myself. And we're going to click next. And then here you go. Now, notice here, you could also, some of this is in plain as well. So if you have clients who cannot read something, like some smartphones, you can't actually see the HTML. This could help them. And we could do, we could do a, a plain text test as well. It also, the great thing about MailChimp is they do a lot of the customization, like at the bottom of the page, they'll do like the unsubscribe stuff that you need to do by law. And, <clears throat> so you must provide a permission reminder to your list. Obviously, you have to do that before you actually send this out to your list. The, you go in through here, you can take a look. This is a great way to actually get this out to your list, and there you go. It's an easy, simple system, a few, a few clicks, and this will be out to your list. Hope you enjoyed this preview into SurveyMonkey and MailChimp. Thanks.